Hello and welcome to Startup and You. I'm Gitanjali Devaka. Video conferencing has become an integral part of the new normal. But would you like to use a Make in India video conferencing solution? Meet Joy Sebastian, the CEO of Techgentia. Not only has Techgentia won the Digital India Innovation Challenge in the video conferencing space, it has also created a software that could resolve all your video conferencing concerns. Thank you so for joining us it's and congratulations to the team Techgentia for the for winning the innovation challenge. So who came up with this idea all together? Who's who's I mean, brain child is We were doing it for a while. We started in 2009 as a R&D company. Our company has a legacy of doing video conferencing for US and European companies. So we were gaining some revenue too from that business. Before COVID nobody was thinking about making India video conferencing. So I didn't felt that there is a chance of video conferencing to be solved in India. There were some opportunities like the state governments and government of India were purchasing video conferencing, but it is through tender. It's a very tedious process. So I thought, just leave it. That is a time when this started the COVID and we got an opportunity in the terms of India Innovation Challenge. So we thought to use this opportunity to make a make in India video conferencing. So how has the journey been? I joined a company in 2000 after my colleges. And fortunately, my assignment in my first company was to do a voice conferencing system over internet. I just stepped into this domain by doing that audio conferencing. Unfortunately, that company closed down due to financial crisis and their owners in America, they want to continue the development here. They asked me to do the research and development of my own. I was managing that project. So I got the opportunity to continue with my own company. That way, I am an accidental entrepreneur. 2009, myself and my friend Tony, we started a company for developing this video conferencing research and development and we were developing a video conferencing engine. Our aim was to replace the hardware components from the industry. You may be familiar with the high-end video conferencing devices you are seeing in boardrooms. Those video conferences were controlled by a hardware in the cloud. That hardware, that is called MCU. The high-end hardware may be costing $100,000. So we thought there is an opportunity if we replace that hardware with the scalable software. So we tried very hard from 2009 to 2014 and we made a somewhat equivalent software that can potentially replace that hardware from the industry. That particular technology is being used for this particular video conferencing right now. So how did you go about the funding for this particular technology? As I told you, we got some clients earlier too from US and Europe because mm-hmm. of our research footprints they see on internet and got help from us and they are paying some royalty. We were funding it slowly, but now we are looking for something because if we go for a very large launch in India, then we need huge cloud infrastructure. That is one thing and we need support team. Essentially, like many other companies was also a startup enterprise at some stage. Yeah. What what motivated you to continue? The team hold up together. It is not me because everything turning around based on employees don't want to stick on. But my guys were so nice and they were telling me every time that we are seeing a shark, don't stop this time around because we are seeing it. So that worked out. Most of them are now getting a stake of the company and they are now, some of them are directors of the company. Your product competes with Zoom, Skype, Teams and all that. How, who exactly are you targeting? I mean, what, who's your target group when it comes to this particular product? The technology is not what exactly Zoom and Google Meet and Teams are now using. We are using a different technology. They can meet from the boardroom, they can meet from the PC, they can meet from the mobile. But this technology is there in Zoom, but it is not there in the Zoom's pre plan. It is not there in the Zoom's $10 plan. It is there in Zoom with the $50 plan. And if you want to add a device like that into a meeting, you need to pay $39 more for each device in Zoom. Those companies want to use a boardroom device. Our solution can be posted on on on-premise. For example, business line want a video conferencing solution as their own. They own the cloud or data center right now. So they will be hosting their video conferencing inside their data center or their servers. And everything will be inside and through their network. Nothing going out. If you want to go for Google Cloud, that is fine. But you will be owning that cloud. You will be renting out that cloud. Are you saying that the this sort of a system will not will reduce or can prevent any sort of hacking or misuse of 
communication networks that is not the aim first of all the cloud is owned by someone else and this video conferencing solution is something like the laptop you want by you and kept by you inside a box that is owned by you but let's say you're having a discussion on finances this happens yeah. in major companies and all that are you saying think, information that they share via let's say a chat forum or anything like that that is secure on this on premises kind of technology it is more secure than what you do on cloud what advice would you give people who want to enter this space at this point in time the technology is not that easy that is why we took around 10 years now a lot of open source components are there it is not like the era of 2009 so i think there are a lot of openings for even small companies i think some more companies will join this particular race every possible business vertical needs a video conference right now which is customized for their need if you ask me healthcare they need a lot of video related engagement right now it is not purely video conferencing you need to think about that kind of particular domains that can use video conferencing customize video on to that and do a business that will help you because video conferencing is a flooded market right now think about a particular vertical and fit video on to that tune in next week for another episode of startup and you if you wish to share your thoughts write to me at gitajdi.thevaka@thehindu.co.in 